Hey everybody, it's me, Steve Schnee, the CD Junkie. On this episode of CD Junkie, I'm here to talk about a band called The Times and a brand new box set called The Art Pop Recordings. It's a six CD set. Now you're probably thinking, who are The Times? The Times were this great indie, mod, punk, post-punk band that put out a slew of albums. In fact, this is the first six albums uh, along with bonus tracks. I'll show those covers to you in just a second here. But there's the list of the albums. I'll tell you real briefly about the band, and then I will uh, have a little medley for you at the end. Now, first off, right out of the box, you get a great booklet that has lots and lots of letters and pictures. Uh, so you're going to get a full history of the band and the story behind each album. The thing about the uh, Times is the band was formed by a gentleman by the name of Edward Ball, super talented guy. This is a British band, by the way. Edward Ball used to be in a band called The Television Personalities. And then when he went off on his own, he started as his own label. Uh, you know, you can read all the information online. Uh, you know, I, I don't want to get too deep into this because I do want to feature some music at the end of this video. But I really want to let you know about this. Is it for everybody? I mean, it's sure it's got some power pop hooks and par sure it's got sort of that mod vibe to it, but it's very indie rock as well. Let's just say it's a mixture between mod and C86. So some of the songs are kind of ramshackle, but it's just some amazing songwriting. Edward Ball always had these great ideas and a lot of talent. So he wouldn't just stay in one place for too long. You know, if they could add the kitchen sink, he'd add the kitchen sink. Uh, but basically, most of these recordings are very rudimentary, uh, very based in punk rock, mod, indie rock, really fantastic. Now, this album here, Go With The Times, was recorded in 1980. And I believe it may have stayed in the vaults until 1985 or maybe had a limited release. But um, there's the uh, track listing and it's got tons of bonus tracks. I think the first Times record that I owned was Pop Goes Art, uh, which was, I think, the first official album. And really fantastic. There is the album and the songs. Now, it must be said, this is the album that really brought them attention because it has a song called I Helped Patrick McGowan Escape. Of course, everyone knows Patrick McGowan was the star of the show The Prisoner. And there's a couple versions of the song uh, throughout his catalog, but this one has the album version and the single version. And like I said, you're going to be able to hear some of these songs in the medley at the end of this video. And this album came out in 1982. 1983 came the album This Is London, and of course this has more bonus tracks on top of the original album. Interesting thing is, as the, the band progresses, you can tell that, that they're getting better and, and, and maturing. You know, they're constantly learning, constantly musically exploring. It's really fantastic to sort of experience it, uh, you know, as you move along. But This Is London came out in 1983. Now in 1984, they put out the album called Hello Europe. Interesting thing is, you know, they dabbled in keyboards before this, but this is really when they dived head first into keyboards. Now, it's not a synth pop record. There's a lot more keyboards than maybe you'd expect on an indie mod uh, type record. But it's it, again, it adds to what Edward Ball was doing at the time. He, constantly exploring adding new musical influences that i mean you can detect there's even funk and stuff there but like i said it's not a synth pop record it's a great record filled with wonderful songs and there's the track listing there includes bonus material now i think that this album was supposed to come out at the end of 1985 but it didn't come out till january 1986 and beatles fans pay attention this is called Up Against It. Now, the quick story behind this record is Joe Orton had written a script for a Beatles film called Up Against It, which was just ignored by the Beatles. And later, Joe was murdered. So that, that script and, and the idea has, has been talked about for years. Well, what Edward Ball did is that he wrote uh, a soundtrack to what could have been a Joe Orton movie. Now, the songs do sound Beatlesque. He's not aping the Beatles, but sometimes he might be. You know, you can hear maybe the more John-type songs, uh, but it's really a fascinating listen, really fun. You know, it's not the Ruddles, it's not the Flying Elephants, any of those types of things, but you can really, really hear the influence on a few songs. I'm chuckling because now I'm remembering a few of them, uh, but it's real fun. Again, indie sounding, so many great ideas, and so many great songs. Now, that album came out in January 1986. Enjoy the Times came out in December 1986. Again, a great collection of songs. I mean, let me say this. I don't love every Times song. You know, there are some songs I'm like, eh, whatever. You know, maybe I haven't listened to in 20, 30 years that I'm going to go back and, you know, rehear and go, wow, how come I didn't notice that song before? But generally speaking, they were 
great, fantastic band. Edward Ball, so talented. This is yet another great album, but it was the last album in this, sort of this incarnation of the times. I mean, during this time, he was also working on other projects like the Teenage Film Stars and O Level, and he was working with so many different projects. He eventually got involved with Creation Records, and uh, he released more albums under the Times, but they were really experimental. They were nothing like these records, but they were still great. And in fact, you know, you can buy any of those albums. Don't expect this sort of mod sound anymore. In fact, I would recommend, if you can find it, the Pink Ball, Brown Ball, Ed Ball compilation, which is the best of his years with creation, which was basically like the late 80s until the 90s, and really lots of great material. In fact, my favorite time song of all time is Confiance, which is featured on this compilation. And he's got solo albums out, super talented guy. But I'm going to stop talking because I want you to hear a little bit of music by the times. I've put together a medley featuring tracks from this. Now, of course, there's a lot of music to take in, look at all that. So I'm not going to feature every track, but I will show you just kind of what to expect if you're a pop fan, an indie pop fan, a mod fan, a post-punk fan, a punk fan, a television personalities fan, whatever. Uh, definitely check out the times the art pop recording six cd set out on cherry red available now so let's give a listen to the music and i'll see you on the other side you can get it if you really want it. Anyway, that's it. I really appreciate you uh, allowing me to talk about the Times box set. Remember to like, comment, share, subscribe, ring that bell for future notifications. And until the next time, remember me, I'm Steve Schnee, the CD Junkie.